Shalom, shalom, kahalo yi hawa bashim yao shai. Dem honor to the apostle and the elder great millstone who well. And salutation to the brethren of the four corners of the earth, pushing the word of truth and sincerity. Um, this lesson is going to be titled, uh, To Be Pillars, you know? Or, are, you know, we are to be pillars, you know? Because I was uh, just meditating on something the Apostle Gabar said um, when reading this Galatians 2 and 9 on his uh, lesson he did um, called called uh, A Comfort in Thought, you know? I just wanted to go into that word pillars and, you know, basically that word pillars means, you know, that word pillar uh, means a foundation, you know, something to, something to something to hold up the rest of the house, you know, or the rest of the building, you know, which ultimately is a leader because the leader holds up, you know, his kingdom or his house, you know, or or uh, or, you know, whatever establishment he has. And that's just like the elect 144,000 of Israel, you know, you know, the elect is going to be that governing body to hold up, you know, the rest of Israel, you know. I'm just going to jump right into it. This is uh, Galatians 2 and 9. It says, And when James, Cephas, and John, who seemed to be pillars, perceived the grace that was given unto me, they gave to me and Barnabas the right hand of fellowship, that we should go unto the heathen, and they unto the circumcision. Now, basically, this is Paul, you know, basically uh, following orders, man, from, 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 the, from the top, you know? And uh, they gave him, you know, they gave him uh, leeway to do what, you know, do what he had to do. But... I just wanted to go into this word pillars here. Because when you go into the word pillars, you know, which from the Greek is stilos. Which, I'm going to go into this third definition here. A prop or support, you know. Down here it says a stiffen properly akin to the base of a post, you know. So basically you're the base, man. You're the, you're the, uh, you're the, you're the. The, uh, the, the, um, you're the, uh, foundation, man, you know, you're what the, bot, the, you're what the building is sitting on top of, you know, you're, uh, charged with, with being the foundation and being the, being the, those sturdy, those, that sturdy leadership, you know, because what we're doing here is ultimately, uh, rebuilding the house of Yahweh Bashim Shai, you know, like Amos 9, 9, uh, Amos 9 says, you know, 9 and 11, for the house of David, no, it's a socket, so the tabernacle of David will be rebuilt as in the days of old, man, and we're building that tabernacle of David right now, you know, starting with the people of Israel, you know, because Israel is a people before us, a place, but that people is also a metaphor for, you know, a building, or the Lord's building, you know, and you have to have leaders to, uh, to be pillars to hold up that building, which is ultimately the 144,000 in the elect, you know, this first Corinthians 3 and 9, it says, For we are laborers together with the Most High, right? Because together with the Most High, we're actually rebuilding that house of Israel. Ye are the Most High's husbandry. Ye are God's building. So we are what we are building. Our nation is what we are building. According to the grace of the Most High, which is given unto me as a wise master builder, right? Because Paul is a master of the law, and he was, and he was uh, crowned an apostle, you know, a disciple or an apostle by Yahweh Shai, you know, so he knew, uh, and he was wise in, um, you know, in building the house of the Lord, man, meaning he was wise in, uh, scouting, scouting out men that were, uh, meet for repentance, you know, I have laid the foundation, you know, and that foundation that was laid, uh, came straight from him, which was, which was the fruit that he gathered, you know, and another buildeth thereon, but let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon, you know? Because you have to make sure that you're building that sturdy, that sturdy foundation. You have to make sure that you're building, you know, according to the knowledge and the wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Shot, you know? Building within those confines. It says, for other foundation can no man lay that is laid, which is Yahweh Shot, you know? Because Yahweh Shot is a cornerstone. And that's our foundation, you know? Yahweh Shot is a cornerstone. Which marks, this is where we should build the building. And this is where we should start, you know. And then, we build on top of that. And then we become the foundation for the rest of Israel, man. Because, Lord willing, we become the leaders, you know. The 144,000 is who are to build upon the foundation of Yahweh Shai. And to build the rest of the building with them being the foundation for the rest of Israel, 
you know? As Ephesians chapter 2, verse 20, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, you know? So that's telling you right there that the apostles and the prophets are the foundation of Israel, you know? Hell, when you go back in the, in the law, you know, or when you go back in, uh, yeah, you go back in the law, Moses and Aaron, you know, they were the foundation of Israel at that time. You know, everything ran through them. You know, during the time of King David, uh, Nathan, you know, was the foundation at that time. Then it was King David. And then it was, you know, the men under him. Then it was the rest of Israel. You know, that was the leadership, you know. And uh, during the time of, uh, I think, Ahab, you know, the prophets were the foundation then. But Jezebel went and destroyed the prophets. And Israel fell apart because of that, you know. So the apostles and the prophets are the foundation of our leadership, you know. Starting with starting with Yahweh Shai on down, you know, or if you think about it, if you're building a building on up, then it'll be the rest of Israel being being held up at the base, you know, by the leadership, which is 124, which is 144,000. It says, in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto an holy temple in the Lord, you know. Like I said, Amos 9 11, the tabernacle of David shall be built, rebuilt, you know, as in the days of old. And whom ye also are builded together for an habitation of the Most High through the Spirit, you know. So not only are we, you know, physically building uh, the tabernacle of David by uh, gathering, you know, men that are meet for repentance, but also through the Spirit of Yahweh Shai, you know, we are going into those perfect. Into those perfect men of the Lord, you know. Scripture say, "Be ye perfect, as my, as in, uh, as in your Father in heaven." You know. You know, so it's telling you that you know the foundation is built upon the apostles and the prophets, starting with Yahweh Shai. You know, because like I said, Yahweh Shai is the chief cornerstone. This is Isaiah twenty-eight and sixteen. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Power, behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone. A sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste, you know. Meaning he shall not be confounded, you know. But that, that cornerstone is Yahweh Shai, man, you know. That that foundation, the stone, is Yahweh Shai, man. It says a tried stone, you know. So the foundation is going to be tried, man. Just like the uh, elect are going to be tried in the fire, you know. So it says a tried stone, man, meaning he went through... He went through hell to, to uh, become that foundation, man. Just like the 144,000 are going to go through hell to become the foundation for Israel, man. You know? A precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. I just want to go into that word, foundation. Which this is in the Hebrew. Ma. Masa'ad. Which, you know, foundation. Laying a foundation, foundation laying, you know, firm, you know. So he was that sure foundation, you know, that was laid for the elect to build upon. You know, judgment also will I lay to the line and righteousness to the plummet and the hail shall sweep away the refuge of lies, you know, because that foundation is supposed to be all righteousness, man. So no, anything, any uh, darkness, you know, that tries to enter into the house is going to be cast out, and the water shall overflow the hiding place. You know, and the covenant with death shall be disannulled. You know, which that's going into the uh, to the you know to the uh, false prophets and and the uh, two thirds of Israel. You know, that claimed onto this world and you know created a uh, a buffer for themselves. But ultimately, what I wanted was verse sixteen. You know. Which was telling you that Yahweh Shai was that precious cornerstone, you know, that sure foundation. But guess what? It says he was a tried stone, man. Meaning he went through shit, you know. I mean, he went through hell to become that cornerstone, you know. To become that foundation. To become that power source, that spirit, you know, that comforter, you know. Because ultimately the uh, leaders of Israel, they didn't, they didn't, uh, they believed he was, they knew he was a Messiah. But, you know. They rejected him, you know, and he was rejected among men for the simple fact that he re represented everything that they hated, you know, which was the doing away of their society. And that's what the elect of Yahweh Shai 
uh, represent, you know? And doing the way of their society, man. Because he was a stone uh, that the builders refused or rejected, you know? Or the stone that those builders at that time, which were the uh, the Pharisees and the scribes, you know, the, um, the uh, elite or the leaders of Israel at that time. You know? This is Matthew 21 and 42. Yahweh said unto them, Did he never read in the scriptures the stone which the builders rejected? Which that's in the book of Psalms. The same is become the head of the corner, you know? So the same man that everyone rejected became the head of Israel, man. This is the Lord's doing. And it is marvelous in our eyes, you know? Because Yahweh got exalted, man. You know, he was sent down to earth and he was, you know, he was brought to brought to, you know, brought to his knees, man, you know, and spat on and rejected and, 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 uh, and stones were thrown at him, you know, he was killed, but guess what, he became the head of the corner, you know, which is just like the men of the Lord, man, 144,000, and the elect, Lord willing, I'm on that number, that's the type of, type of things we have to go through, man, we have to be those, those pillars, you know, those, uh, those pillars of wood or pillars of stone that, that get rejected, you know? But in the end, we're going to become that sure foundation, just like I wish I did, man. You know? And this is some of the uh, things we had to go through, man. This is Isaiah 53. Because Yahweh wish I went through it, and he went through all types of hell, man. And if you read this chapter carefully, you know, this is everything that we're going through, you know? It's Isaiah 53 and 1. Who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Right? Who has believed our report, man? Nobody believes that we're the men of the Lord. Just like Yahweh Shai, man. You had a select few that believed he was who he said he was. And who he proved he was oh, time and time again. But most of the time, no one believed who he was, man. For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant. And as a root out of the dry ground. He hath no form nor comeliness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. Right? He didn't look like, you know, uh, the man of the Lord in their eyes, man. You know, he didn't dress, uh, you know, like a, um, he didn't dress like a um, rich man, you know. He didn't have a, have a rich man's career. He didn't have, you know, he didn't have a lot of money, you know. Hell, the Lord's homeless. He didn't even have a place to lay his head, you know. People really look at stuff like that as, oh, you can't be a man of the Lord because a man of God to be blessed, a man of God to have... You know, have money. A man of God to uh, have transportation and, and have a place to live. And, and you know, and he'll be doing all right. That's not the case in this society. You know? Verse 3, he is despised and rejected of men. And that was my point there. He is despised and rejected of men, you know? And that goes back to this, this uh, Isaiah 28 and 16, man. You know? Oh, will slack you goes back to this uh matthew 21 and 42 which says the stone which the builders rejected you know it says he he was despised and rejected among men of of men you know so he was rejected just like the men of the lord now have to be rejected you know that's how you know you're you're on the right track that's how you know that you're in the spirit of how about shai being rejected of the men of this world you know being rejected by this world because we represent the world of how about shimiao shai man the kingdom which is to come, which is contrary to this world. A man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And aren't, aren't we men of sorrows and acquainted with grief, man? You know, having to watch our people suffer in this society, you know. And he hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. You know, surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. And isn't that what we're doing now today, man? Bearing the nation of Israel's griefs, you know, and carrying their sorrows, you know, doing all we can for them when they when they would love nothing more than to kill us. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of the Most High, and afflicted, you know. And we're afflicted and smitten of the Most High, man, because we're still under the curses, you know. And when it comes time for all hell to break loose, we're going to be, we're going to be in the same position, man. We're going to be rounded up, tortured, you know, laughed at, uh, being stoned. You know, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. You know, the chastisement of our peace was upon him 
and with his stripes we are hit, we are healed, you know. Just like uh, when you read Romans, man, it says all Israel shall be saved, you know, with an everlasting salvation. So we have to go through the chastisement and, and the hill so our people can be saved, man, you know. That's just the, that's just the, uh, the, um, the end of the matter, man. That's just what it is, you know. But for us going through all that, just like Yahweh Shai did, Yahweh Shai became the right hand of the Most High, you know, and we will become his right hand, you know. We will become judges and kings of over Israel, man. We will become those those pillars, you know. This is Matthew nineteen twenty seven. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And Yahweh I said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, you know, which is the reincarnation, which is in past lives, man, since the beginning of time, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye shall also sit upon twelve thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel you know you know and I wanted to go on this word judge so I can it's a long verse Strong's G 2919 Krino Krino you know, it says to separate, put asunder, to pick out, select, choose, to approve, esteem, prefer, to determine, resolve, decree. You know, to, to rule, govern, you know, to preside over with the power of giving judicial decisions. Because it was the prerogative of kings and rulers to pass judgment, you know. So... We will become kings and we will become we will become the judges, man, of the world. You know? That's just what's gonna happen, man. We're going to become, become pillars, man. Stelos. Which means a prop or support, you know? This is what we are to become, man. If we endure to the end, like I wish I did, you know. It says and everyone that forsaketh houses and or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. But many that are first shall be last and the last shall be first. You know? So we have to give up everything in this present world, man, in order to become something greater, man, which are the pillars of Israel, man. You know? Which are to become kings. You know, which are to become judges. You know? Which ultimately means to reap the kingdom of heaven, man. So with that, you know, I hope you brothers are edified. And I hope you guys, you brothers were built up in the spirit. You know, so with that, I want to say, call hello, you how about you, shy. The bottom of the apostle and elder great millstone, who rule well. And the salutation to the brethren on the four corners of the earth, pushing the word of truth and sincerity. Death to America, Mawath Labba Ball. Shalom.